What's up guys, Sure here, and today I got some gameplay versus AK-47 in the Europe practice tournament on Sunday. I will be making a video on how to sign up for the tournaments and how to actually join them as a free agent and as a team. But right there, I'm able to help kill a Versace, which is VSG. So what we're doing right here is we are mostly just looking to see where they are. And then team shot. They get a good two kills right there. Rob and Apex on the right side. And so we know that the guys left are on the left side. and Or spawning. And so right here I go out and I expect that first shot to hit. So that's why I exposed myself like that. I planned on going out, hitting him, and then hitting him again on my way back in. And it would have been a two shot. But um, the problem with that is that it didn't work. So right here, I end up killing Creed. I have most of my health left, I get the double, and then I put myself in a position to get the triple, and I chase for it. I end up getting the kill, but it took too long to get the triple. That was a great job by Mars to make sure I couldn't get the triple. It's always smart to make sure that you don't give people multi-kills. Um, right here, I was stuck on the bottom. Apex was gonna cover me and I was gonna get away. He does a good job for the most part, but, um, that I just was in a bad spot. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna watch the right side. Rob is actually fighting people on the right, so I know that they're over there. And I'm gonna yeah, just do that accordingly. Doc shoots a long range rocket on me and Apex. It was actually a pretty good idea. But me and Apex both called it out, so I got back. I ended up getting hit by it still fully. Uh, Apex is able to back up just out of range, so he was able to live. Otherwise, it would have been a really good multi kill. Um. Right here, uh, I'm just trying to get that guy. I ended up getting out sniped pretty good, so good on Creed. Apex sees him there, but he knows he's no health, and he doesn't want to give him the double, so he's going to wait until enough time passes. And then uh, Rob called out somebody coming out to us, so we were able to get him. We had really good communication this game. Um, that was so key to us being able to play the way we did. And Rob calls a guy on the left side, so I shoot him through the boxes. And right here, I think a guy is going to be pushing up the uh, right side. I see that Naruto is over there, so he'll be fine. And I'm just going to get the guys that are far right. And um, right here, I have that guy one shot. And then when I shoot this guy right here with a headshot twice, I know there's two one shots over there. And I'm just going to hope my rocket hits. I end up getting an 86 point rocket to give us an 88 point lead, which, um, I'm not going to lie, when you're in a very close match on TDM and you get an 80-something point rocket, let's just say that's very helpful to morale. Um, right here, we know that we have a good lead, but because I'm on an elimination streak, we all know that I'm going to die to a combo breaker, which, if they get a headshot, means they get a ton of points, it'll catch up, which they did get a headshot, so they did catch up. We always got to remember, once you get an elimination streak, while your team starts to go up by a lot, they will be able to kill you for that combo breaker, and it can end badly. Right here, I accidentally switched a shotgun in the beginning, um, and I go to kill him, and I had an unbelievably bad time with registration problems with Berserker. Um, it made us lose against TCMV in a game, and in this, it also affected me there. Um, I think it's because we were playing a Europe tournament and I'm North American, so uh, I'm guessing that it was that, but I had an unbelievably hard time with it registering. That being said, I do want to make it clear, I had very good registration for all my other guns, and, and like, being on Europe almost didn't affect me at all. In these games anyways. And then I go for Versace. He does a great job of killing me. And right here, we know that we just need the one kill to win. So we're waiting for me to spawn with full health. Because me and Naruto have full health. And Rob uh, has mostly. So we're going to just run together and get that one last kill. And we know they're coming right side. So I'm going to go over there to help. I'm able to get the headshot and help Rob get that last kill. Uh, we're able to win and go up one to zero. And um, I had a very good game. Rob did too. I mean, our whole team did very good, uh, communication-wise especially. And that one rocket really just put us over the top. With having so many problems with my shotgun, I decided that I was going to snipe instead. And I was going to let them worry about up top as I go kill their guys that went left side. 
I was able to get Versace, and they had a guy come up behind us through the bar, which was very smart. It worked out very well for him. They have a guy up top in the saloon on the inside, and that was actually a really big problem for us early because he was staying up there, and we had to basically wait for him to come to out or drop down and worry about there always being that guy up there. And so I was always having to worry right here. There was a guy behind me. He ended up jumping down on the hill and gave me my triple. Doc ends up jumping down and does a good job not to let me have a four at once. I'm going to go up top and try to help my team. Rob is going to the trash pile, and Apex is over there as well. All my team's pretty low. Apex is going to go over there and shoot Doc. I'm going to try to help. And right here, I don't want to shoot Doc because I know Rob has a double, and I want him to get his triple kill. Being selfless in these situations is what's best for the team. And when you're playing at such a high level, what's best for the team is what you have to do. It does help to have teammates you can trust. I trusted Rob to get that kill with no help. By the way, Doc did a great job coming up behind me there. That was a smart move. I was playing a little bit too predictable, but he did a great job on that. And I'm able to get a good kill there and kill Doc. But um, just got to be able to trust your teammates and do whatever is best for the team. Make sure your team gets the most points possible. It doesn't matter if you get them or your teammate does. It all goes to the same team. And right here, I get out sniped by Creed. I tell Apex that there's people on his left. He goes out, does a perfect job with his rocket, gets everybody low, which is going to help me out a lot when I come out. I know that he's got a lot of people low, and he called them all out. Me and Naruto go in there, and we clean it up. Naruto gets two of them. I get one. And I know that I just need to hide behind this piano till the flash is over and run straight hill. Apex calls out the guy at Trash Piles, so before he even comes on my screen, I'm already starting to scope and go left to be able to shoot him. I end up getting the kill. Then they call two more to the left. Rob helps me get them both. And then he jumps down into saloon. There's a guy behind him. He ends up dying, but I'm able to kill the guy that killed him. And then I'm able to kill the guy that went up the middle. I'm going to look to saloon. I also reload so I can be able to kill multiple people. Doc's right there. I'm able to get a ton of help from Apex there, so I get a two-shot kill. Thank you, teammates. We have the best chemistry with this team I've ever had with any team. And I'm able to get that unstoppable. You know it. And... It, this is probably the best high reach team we've seen so far, just so you guys know. And uh, this might be our final roster. Um, depending on if Jules plays or not, that'll determine what we do. But this roster is looking good. We have 16 kills, 2 assists, 353 points. And we did really good. Versace left at the very end, so it was not 3v4, just in case any of you were wondering. And... Uh, I'm very proud of what our team did. Great job, guys. And, of course, we are able to get the unstoppable, the triple kill, 14 headshots, three doubles, two dominations, and it was a great game. Thank you so much, guys. You did so amazing. My team just is incredible. This is definitely looking like a final roster. And I just wanted to show you guys, this is from Rob. It's not mine. He got 12 headshots for his legendary 16 streak in a tournament. And guess what? He did it on TDM. That might be the only TDM legendary at Platinum, much less in a tournament. That is nuts. Good job, Rob. And in the description, there will be how to join these tournaments. I will let you guys know for the Sunday tournaments and the Saturday tournaments where to go. I'll be making a video on how to sign up and be able to play. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did. Have a great day, guys.